Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Steelers Mike Tomlin declines questions on starting status of QB Russell Wilson. Head coach Mike Tomlin of the Pittsburgh Steelers didn't say anything earth-shattering about injured quarterback Russell Wilson on September 10. But as Tomlin continued to decline comment on Wilson's status during his press conference, what he wasn't saying was becoming noteworthy. Reporters asked Tomlin two notable hypothetical questions regarding Wilson. First, whether or not Wilson would start against the Denver Broncos in Week 2 if healthy. That's a big if. I'm not into the hypotheticals, Tomlin told the media. As I mentioned, right now, he's not healthy. So my time and attention is focusing on the readiness of Justin Fields. Later in the press conference, Tomlin received a follow-up question about whether he still considers Wilson the team's starting quarterback whenever it is he returns healthy. Tomlin avoided that hypothetical as well. I am not going to soothe you with hypothetical scenarios. It is my general practice to not. You guys that know me know I do not so why start today because it is a quarterback position or because it is a national story, Tomlin said. I am unmoved by some of those narratives, to be quite honest with you. We got an approach to business. I always stand in front of you guys when people are somewhat limited, and I say we will push through our work week and let their participation be our guide in terms of whether we include him and the quality of that participation. This scenario is no different for me, respectfully. Before receiving any questions on Wilson or Justin Fields, Tomlin broke down how he is approaching his quarterbacks ahead of Week 2. Tomlin explained that Wilson could still play, but that the team is working under the assumption Fields will start again. I just visited with Russell Wilson. He feels better today than he did over the weekend. What that means, I don't know as we sit here today, Tomlin said. I know that we're going to take the same approach that we take with a lot of people in terms of injury. We'll first start with his participation and his level of participation, his quality of participation. But as I sit here today, we're preparing as if Justin is going to be our quarterback. Wilson and Fields, who are both in their first seasons with the Steelers, competed for the starting job over the summer. Tomlin named Wilson the team's starting quarterback on August 28. But the 35-year-old has been dealing with a calf injury since the beginning of training camp. Wilson tweaked his calf on July 26 while pushing a sled during a conditioning test. Fields could start a second straight week because of the injury. Fields didn't lead the Steelers' offense on a single touchdown drive during Week 1. So, the 25-year-old shouldn't receive too much praise. But Fields did a lot of good things in his Steelers' debut. He avoided throwing an interception and completed 17 of 23 passes. He connected with George Pickens on a couple deep passes and rushed for 57 yards too. Fields earned a 75.9 PFF player grade from Week 1. That was 10th best among the 36 quarterbacks who played during the NFL's opening weekend. The Steelers will need more from their quarterback and offense if they want to beat the league's premier teams. But the possibility of Fields building on the foundation he set on September 8 should excite Steelers fans. Russell Wilson or Justin Fields? Whoever can get a W I'm cool with, Pat Fryermuth says. The Pittsburgh Steelers list Russell Wilson as their starting quarterback, but Justin Fields is the one healthy and playing. After missing the opener with calf tightness, Wilson sounds like he may miss this week, as well. T.E. Pat Fryermuth isn't overly worried about who is at quarterback, however, because he is comfortable with both. At the end of the day, there is only really one thing that he wants out of them. Whoever can get a W I'm cool with, Fryermuth said of the quarterback question with Wilson and Fields. He spoke with Jerry Dulock on 102.5 WDV last night, discussing the Steelers' opening victory, and naturally the quarterback question arose. I think they're similar. They kind of play the game the same way, the fourth-year veteran said of Wilson and Fields. Obviously, Russ is a little older, but he still has some wheels on him. 
no one's gonna beat Justin in a race. He's a hell of an athlete. But I think they're very similar with the way they think about the game, play the game, what they see. Russell Wilson and Justin Fields do share some similarities, some of which are unmistakable. While Fields' athleticism is at another level, Wilson is also mobile. They both have big arms, execute off of play action, and are capable leaders. They also share some of the same flaws, though not in equal measure. The Steelers gave up on Kenny Pickett, but who knows who gave up first in that relationship at this point. Either way, Pittsburgh brought in Russell Wilson, and after trading Pickett at his request, they traded for Justin Fields. Throughout the offseason, head coach Mike Tomlin declared that Wilson had pole position, a spot he never relinquished. Even weathering a calf injury throughout training camp, he still remained ahead of Fields. That is until he experienced calf tightness last week, and now who knows where we are. Until Wilson is healthy, it seems the Steelers are prepared to run Fields out there. The question is, how well does Fields have to play before Wilson's health is immaterial? Tomlin refused to indulge in such hypotheticals, but it doesn't seem much to read into. Russell Wilson could end up in the Hall of Fame, but his glory days seem to be behind him. As for Justin Fields, he could not rise to his pedigree during his first NFL three seasons before the Bears traded him. Now he is trying to redeem himself in Pittsburgh, and he is arguably off to a good start. Justin Fields completed 17 of 23 passes in his Steelers debut for 156 yards. He did not throw a touchdown, nor even lead a touchdown drive, but he didn't turn the ball over, either. He also rushed for 57 yards during the game in a variety of ways. While he had some issues, particularly center exchanges, he generally played a smart game. Steelers urged to target cornerback Akello Witherspoon now. Steelers are being encouraged to sign cornerback Akello Witherspoon as a much-needed addition to their squad. Analysts highlight weaknesses at key positions, particularly center and cornerback. Witherspoon presents a viable solution, boasting a solid performance last season with the Rams, where he blocked 14 passes and maintained a 76.7 passer rating against him. His experience and recent health improvements make him an attractive option for the Steelers as they look to bolster their secondary. Witherspoon started all 17 games for the Rams last season. He achieved a career-best 14 passes defended and a rating of 76.7 when scored. While many view Witherspoon as a strong fit, concerns about his past injury issues persist. Plus, there's the question of salary cap implications and whether the Steelers should focus on other roster needs. Pressure is mounting on the Steelers to improve their lineup ahead of upcoming games. If signed, Witherspoon could immediately solve the Steelers' secondary issues, potentially stabilizing their defense ahead of tougher matchups. Examining other free agents like Clellan Farrell for future seasons indicates a broader strategy for the long-term health of the roster. The Cowboys need to act quickly to bolster their cornerback position with someone of Witherspoon's caliber, leveraging his recent experience to boost their playoff aspirations. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Akello Witherpun? Leave your opinion in the comments.